welcome along to this Zoom call and indeed by the uh, wonders of modern technology, we are going to welcome back to Property Tribes TV, Alice from Clevio. And, and Alice, actually we should talk about like, technology straight away because it's something that really came to the fore uh, during uh, the coronavirus pandemic lockdown um, and digital tools were there to really help and support people and find new ways of working and th this is what we love about Clevio because at Property Tribes we, we subscribe to what we call a digital first approach. Um, so before we talk more um, about what's been going on, uh, uh, could you just remind our viewers exactly what Clevio is? Yeah, well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, Clevio is a system for keyless access. Basically, we move all of the physical keys and things that, do, that, that deal with access to your mobile phone or any other digital system and allow you to open your doors with your phone, which in the current situation makes life way easier, safer, uh, and just better for the current circumstances. Absolutely. I think that you'll agree with me, Alice, that typically the property sector has been quite uh, resistant to change or slow to change. And it seems to me that this COVID-19 pandemic it massively accelerated the velocity of change and has actually forced change and and a lot of that change is going to be positive and that's only going to be good for really fantastic digital tools like like Clevio. Yeah uh, we've we've seen that in the past three months uh, now obviously when it all started it was quite clear that everybody's kind of a lockdown mode. Nobody knew what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously in some of the countries, people were stock stockpiling toilet papers and obviously nobody buys digital locks at, at that time. But sooner or later, in, in a couple of weeks time, it happened is that people were starting to thinking, okay, so how, how do we go forward from here? Um, and particularly in our case, in quite a few situations, what happened was, People saw that when they had a few common places when they touch doors, when they touch keys, uh, this is the pro these are probably the worst places uh, for, or the best places for the virus to thrive. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got quite a few inquiries uh, how we can help about that. And obviously, we provide keyless access, which helped quite a few of our customers uh, and we see increasing demand uh, particularly because of that reason. Well you know when lockdown came I spoke to Nick um, about I, I immediately thought of Clevio because on Property Tribes we immediately saw landlords very concerned about a number of issues and probably the number one issue was indeed access um, because it, it changed the game in that respect and I, I said to Nick at the time you know anybody that's got Clevio is is actually very well placed to to deal with this under under certain circumstances uh, one thing that, that sort of sprang to mind is if you had an empty property um, and you live 200 miles away and you wanted to take the lockdown uh, period to maybe refurbish that property, you, you couldn't have, um, you know, got a contractor in there because you were 200 miles away, you couldn't organise access. But of course, with uh, Clevio and an empty property and a single contractor going in there, that would have been absolutely fine um, during lockdown. And that was just one example I thought of where it would have been so useful to, uh, you know, have keyless access. Yeah, we, we, we've seen several verticals that completely changed. Obviously, the, the, the one that stopped was basically short term. Mm. Although the biggest operators actually invested in, in our case, in Clevio, a lot, simply because they said, okay, so we have downtown, we finally have some of the properties available for your stores to come in. Because we used to kind of try and target that window between to noon and 3 p.m. Where, where the next guest uh, arrives to be able to change the logs, to change the access system. Now they have more time to actually upgrade their properties and actually provide a 
touchless or keyless, however you want to call it, um, meet and greet. Mm -hmm. uh, but two other verticals uh, seems to be very uh, prolific in terms of uh, in new interest and new ways how to operate. The first one is obviously offices. Um, when you kind of remove the need for keys, when you remove the need for any other tokens and you rely on the just digital access that, that is always makes people feel way safer and actually it, it is safer. But the third vertical which we found quite interesting was building managers, particularly uh, residential building managers where they had to arrange any sort of contractors to go there, fix some issues in the building and that process always required the uh the co the contractor to go and pick up the keys to the doors uh with clavio they can do all that remotely and with COVID situation where the we were we are still trying to to practice social distancing where where you try not to interact with with people too closely that's one of our, our key selling points i mean you can actually send let someone in remotely if you have clavio installed in your building's portfolio. Indeed, and you know, I can only see that, you know, going forwards, there's there's going to be so much more uh, emphasis on, uh, you know, people trying to minimize inter interaction. Um, and I also think that in some ways, consumers are going to be, be looking for that themselves. So as a, yeah. for instance, yeah. when you go to check into your new holiday let, um, and you know that it's it's keyless access. That's one less kind of person that you've got to come into contact with. And I think that that, that heightened awareness um, that consumers have now um, is is only going to be to to Clevio's advantage in the longer term as well. Not just when we're in you know a very crisis situation like lockdown. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and we are seeing that. Uh, now i mean we've we've had march was probably the, the the slowest or march april was the slowest then in, in may we started to see uh more and more inquiries what what it could what we could do how we can help the whole the the whole for example portfolio of buildings and mm -hmm. we've seen now in june the uh interest and the actually the business activity increase uh, significantly for various reasons. One is that the whole situation calmed down, people became more aware of, of the new reality. Uh, most of the businesses started to kind of analyze what they're actually doing and what they could do. And uh, we've also adapted. For example, now we have the whole protocol what happens when we send an installer or we ask an installer to go to a location. We try to figure out how to do it without the person present there so that we are kind of distancing ourselves as much as possible. We are very conscious about any sort of uh, potential containment of, uh, or contagiousness of, of the environment. We've moved uh, all of our installers off public uh, transport. Uh, so we do everything with our own uh, transport. Uh, we have minimized, or actually we are not even using it, we used to use quite a bit of courier services to transport some of the materials uh, from the site to warehouse and, and back. We've kind of minimized that or we literally don't, almost not using any more except of the emergencies. And all that uh, made our customers and the whole environment way more comfortable kind of realizing this is a new reality. We have to be aware of it, but the business can still go on. And uh, with a, from now on inside, we said with a few adjustments, you can actually make it work uh, and make it work very efficiently. Indeed, I think it's it's fascinating because we've we've recent, recently launched some property portfolio uh, management software. Uh, it's called Lendlord, mm -hmm. and the COVID nineteen um, crisis it, it it actually revealed to us new ways and I'm sure that's the same with Clevio that you mentioned you've 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 got some different kind of verticals occurring because of what's been going on but your customers 
um, and, and COVID-19 itself, it, it could almost open up new kind of avenues of where it's going to be really, really useful. So it's very um, strange how COVID-19 is, is changing, well, every sector, but also, of course, the property sector, um, you know, with, with the issues with viewings and, and so on. So um, I can only see that, you know, tools like Clevio are going to become more and more important as uh, we move out of uh, COVID kind of into this, what we've got to call a new normal, because it's not going to go back to how it was before, I don't think. Oh, absolutely. And and the fact, I mean, I probably have a couple of comments here. One is that uh, what you've mentioned earlier, that the property sector is usually a bit more conservative, slow moving. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's also one of the few sectors that by nature, it's real estate, it's, mm. uh, it's containment of things and people in the physical space. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to make a virtual real estate. Um, so whatever you want to do when you have a real estate, uh, when you have a building, if you can make it somehow adaptive to the new reality, and in our case, digitize it, uh, the whole situation is, is going to speed up that proper, uh, process significantly. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are probably other examples uh, of that. But, but to us, even though we were, as everybody, uh, caught slightly unprepared or totally unprepared, to, 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 to be frank, uh, it turns out to be a quite an opportunity uh, for us. Uh, we see now that we are we have answers which we, we've been developing uh, for the past three or four years for today's challenges, uh, and this is what we are actually providing. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we've got the hospitality sector opening up again um, from the fourth of July, so. Uh, we're already getting bookings for our holiday lets coming in. Um, I think obviously the serviced accommodation sector may be a little bit slower to get going again, but it's all opening back up. Lessons should be learned from, from what's happened. And I think, you know, again, I just want to stress that Property Tribes, we really do want to promote this digital first approach because the bottom line is that it minimizes risk and it means that you can operate whatever the nature of the business might be you can operate remotely um, and that you know covid has really thrown that into sharp focus uh, that that you need to be prepared and have these solutions kind of ready and not react retro retrospectively so you know lessons need to be learned and i can only see that clavio is going to go from strength to strength yeah it and it's not just that you want to do everything remotely because at the end, particularly in, in the hospitality sector, you still need this human touch. You need the, the, um, at, at least some sort of a contact, but even that yeah. contact could be at the distance. It could be mm -hmm. a meter and a half or two meter distance when you, when you give out or when you meet and greet a person and you give them access still digitally without physical touch. Everybody feels better about it, but you still retain that hospitality aspect. Mm -hmm. um, so there are whole, probably a whole bunch of uh, potential innovations coming up based on the fact that we can provide digital access. Indeed, and you can also always ask consumers um, or customers if they want a, a physical meet and greet or if they would prefer yeah. Um, yeah. you know, a remote meet and greet. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It's, it's actually a new offering which uh, we just enables. Fantastic. Well, it's lovely to catch up with you, uh, Alez, um, that you are in Croatia and there was a little bit of a, a problem with the internet signal there. So we hope that uh, everybody caught uh, everything that we were, we were talking about. Um, but we will put the details of uh, Clevio underneath the video. And uh, just remind us again, the four kind of sectors uh, that it's, it's aimed at. Well, we are. Uh, uh, we started off by offering a full solution for shortlets and hospitality business, mm -hmm. but now we've seen that, uh, particularly in situations where you have an access where a lot of people accessing like doors, like communal access, office doors, uh, we can provide a really, really interesting solution in the 
these new times of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And block managers, uh, and also I would say for HMOs as well, um, because obviously yeah. you've got multiple people coming and going as well. Yes, yes, of course. Fantastic. Well, lovely to catch up with you again. Thank you for joining me on this uh, call from Croatia. And I'm sure we'll catch up and be hearing more from Clevio in the future. But for now, we'll say goodbye and wish you all the best going forwards with your fantastic product for uh, property investors and uh, landlords and uh, property managers. So thanks, Alice. Lovely to see you again. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Bye.